Dee Scalfani, his last time out was uh, but a, not a good outing. Three and two-thirds innings in which he gave up five hits, four runs. He allowed three home runs. And as Danny said, he's given up six home runs in his last two starts over seven and two-thirds innings. So he's got to figure out a way of keeping the ball in the ballpark without any question. Swung on and lifted in the air off of first. Dietrich over down beyond the Reds dugout and makes a catch. Reached over the railing and made the play, and that's a big second out of the inning. Nice play by Derek Dietrich. Uh, that was a huge out right there, and, and Dietrich got to that fence as quick as he could and waited for that ball to come down. He played that perfectly. So now Josh Bell will be the batter with two out. And he chops this one towards second. Iglesias will step on the bag for the final out. Stephen Brault on the mound for the Pirates, his uh, third start, ninth appearance of the year, one and one in earn run average. Not very convenient, 7-11, 25 innings, 16 walks, those numbers this season, but in his career, he's pitched very well against these Reds. This pitch is in the air to right, and Melky Cabrera will make the catch. One up, one down. Here's Jose Iglesias, the shortstop, moving up to the three spot of the order. In on him, and a little flare right to the first baseman, Bell. That was well done by Steven Brault, pounding that strike zone. We played one. It'll be Melky Cabrera to begin things here for the Pirates in the second off Di Sclafati. And Cabrera chases a pitch up and out of his zone, and that's strikeout number one of the game. Back-to-back -back hits with two out will extend the inning for the pitcher, Steven Brault, who bats him as he throws him. And Dietrich behind the bag, and Di Sclafati gets there in time to end the inning. So Dietrich... Bails out Di Sclafani with a really nice play down there. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Derek Dietrich. Swing and a miss. Ralt strikes out Derek Dietrich. That's headline news. Slaying the dragon, at least for the time being. Now Kurt Casale. This time he gets him. A swing and a miss. Strikes him out. Six up, six down for Steven Brault. That'll bring up Brian Reynolds. He walked his first time up today. And it's a strikeout swinging. Number two in the game for Di Sclafani. Lined up the middle in a diving catch towards the middle by Jose Peraza. The red second baseman takes a hit away from Starling Marte, and the Pirates are down in order in the third. And we'll see how Brault does for the first time. He has a man on. Eugenio Suarez bounced out in the first. And striking out, Suarez looking. Suarez thinking that that ball was low, but it was not. But that was a nice pitch. It's going down, but it stops right at the knees. And they're going to intentionally walk Yasiel Puig. <laughs> how about that? With Derek Dietrich coming walk. to the plate. How about that is right. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. How about that? They intentionally walked Puig to get to Dietrich, and that strategy pays off. Here's Adam Frazier. Ground ball and a fly ball for Frazier. And that's a bouncing ball wide of first played by... Dietrich and a quick flip on to first and that's an out and that's the final out of the fifth. The Pirates have runners at first and third. Well, now Colin Moran needs to do it with two outs. And a uh -oh. fly ball to left field going back is Winker to the track nearing the wall and it's opposite field home run time for Colin Moran. Don't you know? Colin Moran hits his fifth home run and gives the Pirates a 3-0 lead. Oppo time for the red beard that ball was crushed i mean there's not always when you, when you see a guy hit a ball the other way you're not sure that was crushed the infield in all the way around for brian reynolds who is one for two with a walk and a run scored and over the drawn in iglesias enabling tucker to trot in and the pirates lead four nothing on reynolds's rbi single you know i don't know who reynolds played for as a young kid but they taught him how to play the game and now we'll see if Josh Bell can't just cap this game off right here, right now. Hit in the air to left. Going back is Winker to the warning track, approaching the wall. And it is an opposite field home run for Josh Bell. A three-run dinger. A bell ringer in Cincinnati. Number 18 for Bell. Give him 51 ribeyes. And give the Pirates a 7-0 lead in the seventh in Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez leads off for the Reds in the bottom of the eighth inning. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're up 7 nothing, and the Reds' best player just takes one high and tight that got it. The guy who had his hand broken last year by a Pittsburgh pitcher. Well, he's saying something to the pitcher. Uh-oh, here we go now. Everybody watch out. David's been thrown out of the game. 
He had his hand broken by a pirate pitcher in a game last year. We don't know if Suarez is injured. We do know he's left the game after getting hit on the same hand. Runners at first and second, one man out, and here's Dietrich, who is one for three, had a base hit in the sixth inning. Hot smash by Dietrich, and we'll get the Reds on the board. Derek with a run scoring single will bring in Tyler Malley, and it's a seven to one ball game here in the eighth inning with one out. Two out of the inning, Nick Sanzel. And that is hammered back into deep left center field, and that ball's gone, a home run. Nick Senzel, a two-out home run into the seats in left center, his fourth home run since coming up from Louisville, and it is now 7-2. to two. Tucker Barnhart pinch hitting. A couple of big pirate blasts. Upping the Buckos. Nice play. Uh, Dancing with the stars. Yeah, to keep your foot on the bag on that one. Well, Bell is showing some nimble feet and a pretty swing today as well. And the Pirates are in a split.